Welcome back to another episode of the Stevie Weeby Show. Have a very special guest tonight. Please welcome for the first time comedian Gabby Lamb. Thanks for coming. That was beautiful. Yeah, really? Yeah. I just I didn't know what I was doing. I kind of dropped the ball like I stumbled at one part. <sighs> I did I did did you notice? No. Okay, thank no, you. No, so. it was beautiful. Wow. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I love your sweatshirt. I'm, Thank and you. I, I know it's a second time complimenting you. Thank um, you. Yeah. Have the, you seen the movie? Yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah what, uh, Jennifer Lopez. Jennifer Lopez. Yeah. Really, is like it was in the nineties. It really. was in the nineties. Yeah, that's a classic movie, right? Yeah, like, yeah, yeah. yeah it's really watched. heartfelt, right? It is yeah, really yeah, heartfelt. yeah. It is. What is about her story? Didn't she get murdered by someone from her fan club? It was not. It was her uh, accountant, I believe. Her accountant. Killed her. Yeah, her accountant killed That's her. That's such a sad story. Cause yeah, she had I so believe. much. Yeah, yeah, yeah. She has a. She had so much talent. She's so young too. How old? I th- God, me, I, she's in her really early twenties. Twenty four, maybe. maybe. I don't maybe. think she was over twenty five. That's so crazy to think about, I right? Know, Cause, so sad. Cause I'm way older than that now, <laughs> and um, I'm like, I feel like, fuck, I'm, I'm done. Yeah, I know. Yeah. I want to yeah, get into it. Um, I, uh, I, I, you know, I, you do comedy. We we love comedians on here. Um, well, first, let, let's start out with where where you're from and like your background and everything. Yeah. Yeah. So where where are you from? I'm from. Um, well, I was born here. I was born in Cedar Sinai. Thank you so much. But, okay. So. Um, <laughs> it's my fucking. That's uh-huh. my credit. That's my big credit. Yeah. Uh, but it's I'm nice, from Oceanside. Nice oh, you're, oh, wait, Oceanside? Yeah, San Diego County. Oh, I represent. Oceanside. Yeah. Are you from there? Poway. Are you really? Poway High represent. Yeah. yeah. Oceanside High, baby. Oceanside High. Am I talking into this? So, yeah, you're talking I'm good. into it. You're yeah. good. You're good. Should I look at the camera? Is that weird? You could do whatever you I want. I do whatever this, I want. This, I is a, this is all about you, by the okay, way. Okay, great. So whatever you, and the thing is, whatever Love you that. want to talk about also, but you caught my interest right away because I'm North County there. Yeah. And you're more uh, going towards San Clemente. Uh, yeah, up the, yeah. Uh, yeah, up the road. So yeah. what is it? What was it like growing up in Oceanside? Fucked up. I don't know. Like, what was it like growing up in Poway? It was... You were sheltered. Yeah. I was literally, I was cutting weight and on the wrestling, I like just was, got into wrestling because, you know, Poway's known for the wrestling part. Are they? Oh, yeah. I didn't know that. We're oh, in football. Yeah. Football is uh, Oceanside. Yeah, and thing. Oceanside a little bit more rebellious, right? You have a lot of those biker bars and, mm-hmm. yeah. It was a weird place to grow up. Um, like in retrospect, it's very, it's like a beach. It's like kind of like a methy beach town. Like I was going to say the meth is involved there too. There's huh? yeah, there's, I didn't realize that it, there were so many hard drugs until like I grew up and moved to LA and then I looked yeah. back and I was like, Oh, everyone was on drugs my whole life in Oceanside. Oh yeah. 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 Like when did you realize like the meth kind of vibe there? Like in high school? Not even really. Cause I didn't know what meth was. Yeah. But I dated a guy when I was 15, one of my first boyfriends. He was a lot older than me. Can we give him a shout out right now? Yeah. <laughs> Diesel. Uh, what, his name be- is Di- Believe it or not, Diesel was on meth. And, uh, so I, shout out to Diesel. Shout out to Diesel, my Ocean guy. Side. He's still alive. <laughs> yeah. He's married now, I believe. Okay. Good, he, good, good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. good for him. We're so Respect glad. to Diesel. <laughs> <laughs> okay. He's married. I'm not. Okay. So. Okay. Uh, yeah, so he, when I was dating him, he was like, I used to have a a problem with meth and i was like i don't know what that is because i was 15 why would i know what meth was but then i realized when i got older yeah I was have like, you oh, ever tried it because i tried it a few times <laughs> i have not tried it and yeah. uh, no interest really 
I smoked it. Did you? With the tinfoil thing. I guess they call it chasing the dragon. It's so fucking gnarly. Is that what chasing the dragon is? Uh, I think. I, I thought heroin know. was chasing the dragon. Uh, I don't know. I don't know. Maybe the, well, I got the, my drug term <laughs> wrong. Well, whatever I did, I smoked it. Out of a tin. And I just, my heart rate, I just, just. Was it fun? Yeah. And it just made me feel like doing a bunch of shit. Yeah. Stuff and. Yeah, I didn't like it. No, I've done a bunch of Adderall, which is like... Yeah, it, tell me. Let's that, talk about... Meth. how was What's that like? <laughs> it's how good. You, you know, it's fun. Yeah. I do like it. So, so it's a good... Uh, can you can you kind of describe to the viewers and listeners, Adderall's a t- Adderall's diet a, pill or something? No, 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 it's a for ADHD. It's a stimulant. Oh, I thought and it was it, a diet pill. No, not a diet pill. Okay, so cr- so go ahead, crack me. I'm, I, I don't know much about it then, obviously. <laughs> a diet pill. So, yeah, just, just it, crack my... Yeah, it, it could be a diet pill. Um, yeah. It could because you don't eat when you're on it. Yeah. And, yeah. and then how do you, how did you get a, your hands on Adderall? I had a psychiatrist, baby. And then you just say, hey, I, I have, I have a hard time pro- focusing. I have a hard time focusing. And then boop, boop, give yep. you a uh, right mm-hmm. prescription. And, they, and, mm-hmm. and then... They and then a thirteen year old up with meth, and that's a legal meth. So it's a legal form of meth. Yeah. So, were you, did you like get better grades? Absolutely not. But man, <laughs> yeah. I could focus. You could focus. Yeah, but like, I, it me. didn't make me smarter. So, um, you're so what's the thirteen? That's middle school, freshman, high, like what is the, what is that? I, think I I was prescribed it my freshman. I I think my freshman year of high school. Yeah. Freshman or sophomore. And yeah. so you were on it throughout your um. Throughout the whole time through high school? Mm-hmm. Until, really until like my early 20s, I stopped seeing a psychiatrist. Yeah. And then how'd you, then how'd you get off, how'd you get off Adderall? I wasn't like taking it every day. It was one of those things where like when I was first prescribed it, I think I took it, I was taking it maybe like four or five times a week, but then like I started realizing that it was too much. Yeah. So then I would take it like recreationally. And now if I take it, yeah, it's like for fun. Yeah. No. If you were to take it now, could you like drink more? Fuck yeah, you drink so, so much. So you could on just it. down the beers. Oh yeah, down the beers. Like it's nothing. Like it's soda pop. <laughs> like it's soda pop. Yeah. So that's that makes sense if you're going out and <laughs> yeah. you, you take Adderall. Oh yeah, it's great. Then, then you could just. Oh yeah. Yeah, put them down. If you want to rage, if Adderall's you want to rage, drug. yeah, keeps you up. Mm-hmm. Ooh. And then how addictive is? How do you, is it hard to quit Adderall? You know, I'm a, it is addictive. They it, they do. It is addictive, but I don't think it's like. You don't have to like get off of it, you know. Yeah, yeah. It's it's scary. That's a scary form of it because it's kind mm-hmm. of like it's made like oh, it's okay because you're prescribed it, but it's still like a light form of meth. And, oh yeah, 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 yeah. Totally, it's totally a light form of meth. So there's kids on it right now, absolutely like, trying to, studying for midterms mm-hmm. and doing all that. Yeah, huh? yeah. Oof, that's not good. They put kids on it. They put yeah, real young crazy. kids on Would it. Would you put your kid on that? Fuck no, no, no. Right? No, just study just study like a normal kid oh god it was great though it did really make me focus it did yeah um what what do you miss about oceans like okay let's let's we're gonna get off oceanside because we need to get to your comedy career oh we everything. can talk about oceanside yeah, honestly yeah. i, I um, love like, it what are what are the three like what do you like and what what are things to like and dislike about oceanside like growing up there or yeah just, like, i could talk about poway and then but <laughs> well the thing you could uh, yeah yeah it's the things that i like about it what I liked about growing up there was that it was like very, uh, it felt safe in a way. Like, I mean, I guess it's kind of not, but it just, it was like a nice place to grow up. It's San Diego for God's sake. Yeah. Sense. I mean, how long have you been in LA now? 10 years. So now being in LA, going back, it's a different world. It's different like world. Disneyland. Oh God, it's so different. It's so yeah. slow. It's so slow. But right? it is, it's nice how close it is. You know, I can just drive home and see yeah, my parents. Yeah, 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 Is your, your folks still there? Mm-hmm. Okay, that's what's up. Yeah, yeah, they're there. Yeah. But uh, it's completely different worlds, Jesus Christ. Yeah, way different. Yeah. We used to hang, I mean, this is, God, I'm dating myself, but in the 90s, I'll just say, I'll keep it. In the 90s, <laughs> we would go to, our beach was Del Mar. Yeah, yeah, or yeah. Or Solana. Did you go to the Del Mar Cherry Fair? Beach. Oh, hell yeah. Del Mar <laughs> Fair. Forget about oh, it. Forget, forget about, about it. Forget about it. All the kids went. All the it? kids went. I mean, kids from uh, Mira Mesa High Everyone. to Mount Carmel yes. to Vista yeah. to Poway. We're all the Del Mar to Morris Fair. High School. We all went. I remember. I was going to the Monta Del Mar Vista Fair. Also, yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. I see you. Yeah. Uh huh. Um, can I say one fact about Poway? Please. I always say this. Do you know who went to my high school? Blink One Eighty Two. How'd you know? Because I fucking loved Blink-182. I, I loved I know Tom. 
No. Oh, oh, he was in my class. No, I was obsessed with him. So, Tom, if you're out there. Tom DeLong, he's yeah, so fucking weird now. I, um, can I tell you a story about? Please, I was so obsessed I with him. I just him. remember one, because we're from the same class. I don't want to say the date, because I'll, I'll be dating my, it was in the 90s. It was in the 90s. You, he was in your graduating class? He was high school. He was prom king. No, on top of that. Way. Yeah, dude. I loved him. Yeah, dude. Oh, my yeah. God. Yeah. For, yeah. And this is the thing. You might not believe me, but he used to <laughs> jam at the kegger party. You know, like the local parties? Yeah, like in the backyard. Yeah. In the backyard with a keg and, you know. Were they famous yet? When did no, they get? people would ignore them. Really? They'd be playing. And, and then people would be like, ah. But then, you know when I realized it was for real? I went to Arizona State, and I had some of my high, sc- high school friends visit me in my little dorm room, which is the size of my bathroom. It was a dinky dorm room. Uh-huh. And they brought they had CDs, th- like like three Blink-182 CDs. The one with the cat on it. Oh, that's uh, yeah, like yeah, one of their yeah, first yeah, ones. One of their first ones. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So this is dating back then, back in that era. And then they go, dude, Tom's on MTV. And I go, and then that's when like the light bulb went off and I'm like, what? No way. And they're, they're like, dude, he's rock star. I go, what? <laughs> no, he's like, yeah, he's all over MTV, Steve, is what I'm telling you. And I'm like, and then that's when I'm like, oh, and then, you know, then it's forget about and it. And then it's Blink-182. It's just so weird because I grew up with him. That's like, you so know, wild. Like the same schools and, cl- you know what I'm I saying? I loved like, him. Oh my God. Wait, was the Mark Hoppus go there too? No, just Tom. It was just Tom? Yeah. But I uh, like me forget about my... Can we just pull stand back a little towards you? Yeah. Yeah. Towards you? Yeah, yeah. Just like this? Yeah, towards you. Towards like you. this? Yeah, a little more. Like this? Yeah, perfect. Thank you. Like that? Yeah. Okay. So, uh, he, he, uh, Invited me to skateboard. It was uh, the Albertsons parking lot near where he lived. Uh, ne- uh, near he lived near a place called Rancho Arbolitos. It's like a tennis, like where the tennis courts were. Okay. It was like a country club type thing, Rancho Arbolitos. But then there was like a Penguins yogurt shop, a Little Caesars. There was um, you know, uh, Albertsons. And then we skateboarded the red curb there because he skated. Yeah. He was a good skater. He actually yeah. could kick flip back then. That doesn't surprise me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yum. Um, I love a skater. And so guy. we all had mutual friends like um. And then I went back to his house and... <gasps> pe- you went to his house? Yeah, dude, he was the home... Dude, like, we grew up with Tom. Like, my friend Rich Salo, like, like was better, closer to Tom than I was. Like, but, That's so crazy. So we, it's, it's just weird that now he's, like, this huge monolith of a rock star guy. Yeah. But, like, he, we went back to his house and his mom, like, uh, prayed, like, it was weird. It was, like, kind of like, like a Bible study thing. And the, his mom put her hands on my head and started, like... Like praying in tongues, speaking no. in tongues. She's like, "All right, is it really No way. Yeah, dude. Like I was like, it was weird. That's so weird. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. That's so weird. So and he got really into aliens. Now he's just like, oh yeah, committed he's got to his aliens. own. Um, he's got his own. Uh, to the stars academy. You know what I'm saying? He's got his own like whole business or I don't know yeah. some kind of thing platform for for like space studies or i don't know like he's he's really into he's it he's really yeah. into it what do you like about tom oh my god he was my f- i god i loved him uh he was yeah. just, he was always so hot to me tom he was just so hot yeah hottest guy this is another fact his stepbrother <laughs> sean kitchen shout out to sean kitchen shout he out. was on he was on the wrestling team that's how close, like, That's Tom, so funny. like, his stepbrother was on the wrestling team. And you know what I'm saying? Uh, and so it's just hard for me to, yeah, because, like, you know, I'm still, like, I'm living this small room. And just to think of, wow, like, Tom's Tom probably lives doing... in Malibu or, like, you know what I'm saying? Didn't like they live in, they moved to, like, Encinitas, right? Oh, man, now you're really bringing back memories. I, I remember, because I remember yeah. I was in high school, and I would be like, I got to go find Blink-182. And I yeah, would, oh, so you were would, really into oh, it. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I remember I would like, I think I saw him driving once, and I was like, oh, my God, there's Tom DeLonge in Encinitas. I, who knows where he is now, but. So the way you look at Tom, is it the same way people look at, like, Bono or, like, yeah, David probably. Bowie or something? But like, I don't, someone like that? I don't look at him like that anymore. But What, you know, what, was, what happened? Well, it's the the love isn't there anymore. I mean, it was there, but I'm not Whoa, like a big. Whoa! Wait a minute. When did the love? When, when did the love disappear for Tom? I'm not and like Blink? A, you know the blink the it the familiar familiarity of like loving that band is there, but I don't like. 
love Blink-182 anymore. You know, I guess I do. I don't know what I'm saying. Maybe All I'm lying. The small things, mm. my show, see <laughs> Come on, that's catchy stuff. Catchy pop songs. No? That's a great song. Yeah, that's, it's a, of that's my a youth. damn good song. It's a damn good song. Now, <laughs> the same way I looked at The Cure, do kids look at Tom that way and blink? I don't like know. that iconic. No, I'm talking about iconic bands where they're like U2 or you know what I'm saying? Or Maybe. what's a modern band that pe- kids go like the the way. Okay, let's post Malone because I, I, I want to talk about because you just bumped into him. Right? I did. I'm, yeah, I'm I, I want to talk fan. about that. Yeah, we will. The same way kids look at up at to post Malone. Mm-hmm. They're like, that's post Malone. Oh, my God. He mm-hmm. did the Spider-Man song. Yeah, he did the sunflower, the sunflower yeah, guy. The rock star. Do the so, do yeah. people? Is it the same way we used to look up to Tom? I think so. It must have been. Yeah, See, that's crazy. Because I was like, I remember, I was like worshiping him when I was in high school, middle school. Like, you were worship like you had posters. Of I had him. posters. You had pictures of me? him in your room. I had pictures, posters. <laughs> uh, boggles my mind. Yeah, I loved him. He was my favorite one in the band. Who Tom? Yeah, he yeah. Had the, he had my favorite thing? voice. Yeah, it's cr- Yeah, because his normal voice didn't sound that way. But when he sang, he like went a couple octaves. When did they get famous? I'm telling you, it was like 94, 95, 96, somewhere around that. Because I remember I was in college. No way, really? Yeah, because I remember it happened when I left. I went to Arizona. My friends came to visit me. They had the CDs. He had already been recording albums and signed to labels. They got famous in like 90s. In the 90s, right, Craig? It's definitely in the the late 90s, 96, 97. No, I didn't have one poster of Tom. I wish I I had my, my yearbook on me. I wish you did too. Fuck. But the thing is, the thing is, is... It, you would think that that you know like someone like Marilyn Manson, right, is like the outcast. Then he became the rock star, right? But then he was, but he was the outcast. But then someone like Tom, everyone always loved Tom. Really? He, yeah, he was the well, the no, the popular kid during the whole time. He was the prom king. He was the prom homecoming. No, homecoming, homecoming king. Homecoming king. Come on. God, I bet he had so many girlfriends. Oh God, what was the name of that one? Oh, forget. forget. Let's forget about Tom. <laughs> Let's go on to Post Malone. Yeah, okay. yeah. I love you, Tom. So if Tom, uh, can you can you can you extend a uh, like maybe an invitation to Tom on the Stevie Weeby show if he's I listening? Already, but then I already talked so much shit about him loving aliens. Isn't that better? No, no, no. So Tom DeLong, Tom, Tom we love DeLong. you. I love you. Please Huge come on fan. here. I swear. I, I come on, come please, on brother. <laughs> please. You, got a you remember me, Rich Salo, Dan Rogers. Just remember us, man. Damn. We love you, Tom. Um, so tell me Power about, zone. um, cause yeah, you bumped into Post Malone. I did on Sunset Boulevard. When did this happen? Last, Last week. week. Last week. Yeah. Like, hello. Like, how did that happen? Like, you just saw him at. Saw him walking down the street and I said, there's my man. I pulled over. I was in my car. Pulled on, on over, yelled out the window. And I said, Post, I'm a huge fan. On Sunset? On Sunset. Right in front of the comedy store. And he was like, thank you so much. He was, was just like, walking. Walking alone. Alone. Wearing a hat, a cowboy hat, a white cowboy hat that said Post Malone on it. And I was like, yeah, that's him. Was he cool? He was so nice. He was so cool. He was so sweet. His music's just really catchy. Yeah, I'm a big fan. That Sunflower song. Jeez. (laughs) I mean, you can't go wrong with that. (laughs) You can't. I mean, what's You mean, uh, the, what was the, what, how did he, what was the first one? The White Iverson? White Iverson was his big one, yeah. I keep something on you. I don't recognize that one. Uh, you, sing, sing another one. Sing another one. <laughs> I get no, I think you were, I get were you trying. That's White Iverson. Yeah, yeah. How do you? I'm sussy, I'm sussy, I'm sussy, I'm sussy, sussy on you. you. Sussy, sussy, sussy on you. That's, that's it. Uh, 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 ooh, ooh, ooh. Ooh. She was a bad, bad, nevertheless. Come on, dude. How do you come up with these? How do people come up with these? I'm asking you. You're asking me. Like, how do they come up with these angelic melodies? I've been doing music for so much long. I can't I even wish think I of could one. tell you. I how wish do I could they tell do you. it? I don't it's know. It's magic. How do Why do you do call it? up Tom? He would know. He won't even answer my <laughs> DMs. What are you talking about? Let's stop. Let's get off Tom. Is he on it? Okay, I we'll don't get off. Talk we'll get off. <laughs>
I'm going to. We're off of Tom. Sorry, no sorry. More we're, off Tom. we're off Tom. Tom. No more Tom. Unless he, he messages us and comes to either your show or he comes <sighs> to this great. apartment. Yeah. And that's it. That's it. Tom, this right, is your Tom, last what are you chance. This <laughs> <laughs> the okay. last time we reach out. How did you get into comedy and how did you make it outside of Oceanside to LA and how did this all come about? Okay, so I got in. The, well, we'll start with the Oceanside. Yeah, I, yeah, yeah. I, uh, oh, we're, still, we're still in Oceanside. Yeah, we're still in Oceanside. <laughs> sorry, sorry. Well, I got carried that's away. Where all, that's where all my trauma's sorry. from. Okay. So we got a, you know, we got a lot to unpack. Okay. Um, I was, I was, you know, grew up there. Mm-hmm. Was like, you know, I need to get out of LA. I mean, get out of Oceanside because I don't want to be here anymore. Mm hmm. All my friends were going to college. I wasn't smart enough to go to college. It's Didn't okay. have the grades. Thank you. It's okay. <laughs> Safe space. It's okay. Thank you. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Um, <laughs> <laughs> I, uh, yeah, I wasn't smart enough to go. And so I was like, you know what? I'm going to go to community college in LA because my family's from here. Thank you. There's nothing, there's nothing wrong with that. Nothing wrong with that. Didn't, smart. Didn't even get my save money. Uh, save money. Save money. Los Angeles City College, baby. LACC, LACC represent. Hey, that's my old neighborhood. I, I yep. live there on Sanborn. You know what I mean? I live across right the street there, from dude. it now. Right there. Right there. Right there. Alma right Mater. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Nothing wrong with it. Nothing wrong Absolutely with it. Absolutely. Didn't even mm-hmm. get, what's it, a, a double A, an AA? What's it called? Uh, associates. Associates. <laughs> yeah. It's okay. It's all right. You didn't need it. Didn't need it. Don't need it. Don't need the bachelors. Don't need the associates. No. Working comedian. Working comedian. Doing her thing. Here we are. Hello. (laughs) Don't need it. Don't need it. Yes. I love it. Thank you. So yeah, left Oceanside. I was like, you know what? I'm going to go to LA. I'm going to study acting. Um, Got into theater Mm -hmm. because... You had to do it. I mean, had what? to do it. I, thought, I love the spotlight. Might yeah, as yeah, well. yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, did you just take improv? Cl- like, where did you start? I start. I <laughs> went to LACC for mm-hmm. their. They have a community theater program. How much was it? Like, pretty reasonable price, right, for the class? Oh, probably two hundred bucks a yeah, semester. Yeah, yeah. There you go. Nothing. Nothing. Okay, and then you did that for a semester? No, I was there for three... It was a three-year-long program. Okay. It was like a conservatory, acting conservatory. That's cool. So it was a three-year program, mm-hmm. did that, was a terrible actor, um, but had fun. I had fun on stage. I yeah. liked that. Mm-hmm. I liked when I got laughs. I would always get laughs. Yeah, because you had to do scenes in front of people. They had to do scenes yeah. in front of people. And and so you, were, got, you liked that. Yes, mm-hmm. but I was a terrible dramatic actor. But you got laughs, though. But I would get laughs, and the laughs felt good and i was like you know what i'm on to something oh mm-hmm. and then that's when the seed was planted barely then, then barely I, then barely keep going keep going so then i was like you know what i'm gonna study shakespeare oh um was bad at that wanted to be good at it so badly okay but i did that mm-hmm. and uh during that time i found I, I was like oh i'm gonna do improv too so i started doing improv bad at that Again, loved the laughs, loved, loved the spotlight. The mm-hmm. Yes, yes, yes. Loved the attention. So he's, there's, there's an underlying so thing now going the, on. now the, the cons- wheels are turning. Yeah, the wheels are turning now. You're wheels like, are turning. Wait a minute. And I was like, you know what I want to do? I want to be able to write what I want to talk about and do what I, I want to be in control of myself. And you write it. I want to write it's it. It's your script. Mm-hmm. It's your stuff. And so I had that idea. I was writing all this stuff, and, I was, mm-hmm. and all, none of it was funny, but I was like, you know what? Got to figure it out. And mm-hmm. then I found out about a stand-up class. Mm-hmm. Took a class. We're, we're at LACC still? No. This, this is was years after. So I okay. started doing stand-up four years ago. I moved here in 2009 and then started stand-up four years ago. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. And so, so where was the class, the first class? Um, it was called Pretty Funny Women. Okay. And that was where I started my stand-up class. Whoa. What was that like? Um, good. It was yeah. good. Yeah. How it many other good. how many other people were in your class? Ten maybe. Ten. Yeah, ten girls. And then these these uh, other females were they hitting up? Like when were you? When did you start doing mics? Do they teach you first? Then you start hitting open mics? It's like I I remember uh, you you start the class and then she's like, okay, well now you she helps you write material and it's like this is you know joke the joke joke formula yeah. And she's like, you know, to get if you want to do this, you got to go out and do open mics. So then I was like, okay, I guess I'll do open mics. I think mm-hmm. I did like two. Which ones? Then my first mic ever was Flappers. Flappers. Oh, uh, that's it. Is in that Burbank. in Burbank? Okay. It was so bad. It was so bad. And I had a bunch of my friends come because they mm-hmm. were like, we're so excited for you. And I remember I got pulled like last. 
out of a hat out of a hat yeah and my friends were all there and it was just so embarrassing and it mm-hmm. was so bad mm-hmm. and then we had to do like a our showcase and what does that entail so it was i think it was it's it's either a six or eight week long class and at the end of it you know you have your hot five minutes okay she so helps you put together five oh, minutes but of you material. had three before that it goes three minutes then five no okay wait what <laughs> okay i don't know what i'm talking about keep keep going <laughs> okay i thought i'm so sorry i'm so sorry i thought you had no three. it's fine i thought you had three first i thought you start with three you do it at mics at you mics. usually okay. have open That's mics are like three about. minutes three minutes okay yeah i think i had a three minute mic at flappers showcase is five showcase was five five so that gotcha five. i won't interrupt anymore <laughs> Um, yeah, so that was the five, we had a five minute set mm-hmm. at Flappers, you know, my home, yeah, my alma mater, and uh, yeah, had and a, then, I had a really good five minute set. I mean, looking back, it wasn't that good, but like at the time, it made you feel good. You got yeah. through it, you got a few laughs. Oh, god, I, yeah. I fucking crushed, and I was like, thank you. You can pull up the video if there you want. There you go. There you go. It was. Oh, it's on. It's on YouTube. Oh, it's on YouTube. Um, oh, so how do people find it if they if they watch this? Can they find it? Yep. Okay, what do the guys do to find it? <laughs> Type in Gabby Lamb on YouTube, and I should show up as on on, like, on one of the videos. Yeah, it's flappers. flappers. It's like it's. I think it's like Gabrielle Lamb flappers debut. Oh, great, great, great yeah, great. great. Okay, well, no, it's out. It, it was great. It's documented. Yeah, it is. You yeah, you mean? can yeah, you yeah, can yeah, watch yeah. all my progress online. Then yeah, there's progress. a bunch of other stuff online mm-hmm, that's mm-hmm. bad, but you know. And then you live and learn. Hi, so from that showcase, then what happened after that? You. I always ask comedians because everyone has a different trajectory. Mm-hmm. Like, what, what happens after that? After that, I was like, well, I, I was like, I, I'm a fucking world famous comedian now because I, had, you know, I was so high off that set. I was like, yep, I'm good. Mm-hmm. Netflix, come on. Netflix. Yeah, I'm, yeah. I'm ready. <laughs> yeah. Flappers. After that, flappers one, and Netflix. Flappers. Yeah, after yeah. that, I was like, I'm ready. I'm a star. And uh, I wasn't ready or a star, but, you know, in my head, I was. Yeah, in your mind. Mm hmm. But and, uh, do you think one needs that to? It's like uh, building a tough skin, oh, yeah, of course, to, yeah. um, to navigate through this comedy world and yeah. to, to go up the ladder. Of course, yeah, you have to be a to little be like, bit delusional and like, uh, okay, you know, so delusional. In even if you did bad, you you'd be like, not killed. No, I've never been. So like that's that. delusional. That's that's delusional. I've okay. never been that person. I've never thought that I've done like really well when I haven't. I'm pretty self aware with that. But the keeping the delusion alive of like I'm gonna be really there. I, there's greatness in me. I mm-hmm. guess that's not delusional. That's right. You need kinda, you need you something need to keep care keep you going. Yeah, I respect what you do. I I I took a I was doing open mics for like years ago. Five, six, I I did it for six months. I did all, I did Marty's uh, Rock Paper. <laughs> oh yeah, you, oh, you were after Rock Paper. Yeah, I went like four or five times a week. Like I know what you guys. Mm-hmm. The thing is, I never got laughs. <laughs> Honestly, I knew you yeah. I. No, you do. I saw your stuff online, man. You get laughs. But yeah, it took it's you hit or miss a lot of the time, and also for like the first like fucking year of stand up doing open mics, I was bo- I remember just like I had my great flappers set, and then I was like, all right, time to start hitting the grind, you know. And then tell let's talk about it. And like what happened? So I remember a couple of weeks after my like first flapper set, feeling good about myself, and then I went to a mic. It was uh, Echoes Under Sunset. I've been to that. Yeah. Yeah, it's kind of like at that. It's like kind of under the bridge. It, yeah. And then you, it's like a dark room. And then you go to the other room. Yep. And then there it there's is. that tiny little theater, like a wooden. Yeah. St- yeah, 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 yeah. It's closed now. Oh, okay. Thank, I mean, good riddance. That place was a nightmare. But mm-hmm. I remember I did a mic there, one of my first ones, and I bombed so badly. And I sat in my car afterwards crying. And I was like, what What am I doing? I can't do this. Oh, my God. <laughs> But don't you think that that's because uh, I listen to Joe Rogan a lot, mm-hmm. and he talks a lot about you know he he's a famous like established yeah, he's comedian. A, he's a famous guy, yeah. But he says that uh, he says uh, failure is an important part of the process of. No, I'm talking specifically about comedy. What mm-hmm. you what you do, it, it's a, it's 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 vital to to uh, to grow and to, uh, as a comedian. Do, yeah. do you agree with that? Oh, totally. Because look, you you made through made it through that. Made it through it. Still right? make it through it. Kind and of. now mm-hmm. I've seen you at the uh, Laugh Factory. I'm on dude. the fucking Laugh Factory, dude. You're at the Laugh Factory, dude. The Laugh dude. Factory, dude. So how did you get from crying in your car that night? At uh, whatever sunset under the bridge, sunset under the bridge. 
Yeah, four years and you're already at the Laugh Factory? Yeah, they posted me a lot. They love me. They show me a lot of love, which is great. I mean, that's, I don't think that's like a common thing. I think it takes maybe 10 years on top of the four you yeah, did. Yeah, everyone's to, to get timeline to is different, but yeah. That's crazy. So how did you get from that Echoes mm-hmm. to Laugh Factory? Fuck, I don't even, I, honestly, <laughs> four years. Yeah, I guess a lot. I mean, it'll be five in July. Um, Dude, you're right, Craig. That's crazy. Yeah. Yeah. So yeah, look, I guess it's not that much time. It's yeah, not that much time at all in the history of doing yeah. stand up. Yeah. I don't know, honestly. I don't know. Oh, you know what? No. I don't know. Actually, I don't know. <laughs> you don't know I how did, it happened? <laughs> I got booked at the Laugh Factory through a friend who was running a show and he was, and I had a really good set. And then they posted my set and I got a lot of followers from it. And I was like, whoa, this is cool. And then months later, maybe a year later i got booked on a pretty funny women show the the woman who i started the class with because she was running shows at the laugh factory mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. and they posted another one of my clips and i was like great bring it on and on then, instagram mm-hmm. oh, and wow. youtube yeah and youtube yeah and then uh this most recent one was just through the booker there and you know God, you just you're around so town crazy. people see you, and you start. but you know what's so cool about that and like i think that it would be harder to do that like in the 90s or early 2000s but it's making me think of these social platforms yeah that because you just said instagram facebook mm-hmm. videos passing on you know what i'm saying one person yeah. get, you know passing the video on to this person and yeah. you never know who is watching it totally everything happens through social media now and i'm so fucking grossly addicted to it but yeah i've gotten a lot of a, a lot, lot of a stuff lot through of media. love through that yeah definitely which is great, which is so great for for a comedian. Yeah. Well, for anyone really in the entertainment, but so don't you think that's like any like person starting out comedy, they would love, they would probably give up an arm to to do one set at the Laugh Factory. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Wouldn't yeah. you say? I've don't say. you think that's like one of the monoliths? Yeah. Comedy store, improv, Laugh Factory. Wouldn't yeah. you say? Those are the ones. Those are the ones, right? I don't yeah. know. Well, my brother does comedy, and I've been following his career, so I've been just looking at what he's been doing. Okay. You don't do comedy store? I do. Okay. I do do the comedy store, but I'm not like a paid regular there. I'm not not there. Not. But I would like to be. I don't. Day, I don't. I, I could see you. I don't see why not. Is what I was gonna say. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I could totally see you doing that. Yeah. Right. How does that work? Um. <laughs> I don't. I mean, I I don't even know. I'm a brother of a comedian. Like I don't. Wait, who's your brother? I, Bobby. Oh, Bobby. Bobby's yeah, your brother. Yeah, Bob, okay. Yeah, yeah, he's my older brother. Oh, really? So yeah. So I've been following him. That's so funny. He's so um, funny. Since oh, going back to San Diego. Yeah. You, uh, there's a place in La Jolla Disc Cafe, and that was near the comedy store in La Jolla. So my brother was okay. working. You know the Panikin Coffee Shop. It's in Del Mar. Yeah, I love Panikin. You, know, you remember the Panikin, right? I all, I yeah, always Panikin. eat there. It's yeah. So, so the Panikin was near there. And my brother was working at that record store, and he needed wait to... lose or whatever. No, it was a disc cafe. Oh, was, you said it was disc cafe. Yeah, okay. disc cafe, okay. and he had to get change, and so he had to go to the comedy store to get change. And it was, I guess, an open mic, and he'd go there, and then he he decided, oh, I should try to do a uh, open mic. Really? And, yeah, that's how it started. That's what. <laughs> yeah, and then he would make me that that he would make me like. He would like perform in front of me, like in the bedroom. Like I'd sit on the bed. He goes, "Sit down, dude. Let me do my act." <laughs> and then he would like. It was so weird. God like he it. would like do his act outs, and he'd be like, "You know, I don't know what he was doing." Yeah. He goes, was it good? I go. I was like his little cheerleader. Yeah. Yeah, it was good, Bob. <laughs> look at him now. Look at him now. Fucking Net- look at him now. Uh, God, he's doing Magnum so P. well. Magnum Yeah, and... he's very funny. Yeah. <laughs> Mag- Magnum P. Um, when, man, you are, you're a special talent in this field cause you're, you're getting it. So when, so are you working on a, a special, like a half hour now or how does it work? I don't know. That's the thing now. I'm like, what am I fucking, what's the next step? What am I? Well, well there has to be a next step. There I mean, absolutely what is, is the next step, step but I in don't comedy? know what. But is what it? is it? <laughs> I, that's, I, I don't, I'm trying to figure, I don't know what you I know, I'm do. trying to figure it out too. Okay, because this is from the outside looking in. I've yeah. had a lot of comedians as guests here, right? Yeah. This is what, this is the gist I get. Mm-hmm. Um, well, I've been writing or I'm doing a show at this or I'm opening for this person. And then that's about the end of it. 
they're either gonna watch me here, I'm gonna be performing here, yeah, or I'm writing for this thing here, yeah, or I'm looking. I don't know, like what. Is there like some manual for comedians where you do this, you do this, then you do your special, then you do this, and then you you become like George Carlin? I don't know. Uh, look know. at Bobby's career. He has a great career. I'd well, love my career done, to look like that. Done, well, he hasn't done a special. Does he not have a special? Really? I would love to have a special. <laughs> well, uh, no, I, I just my dream for him. I want him to have yeah, a special. I'm surprised that he because yeah, he doesn't. Yeah. No, he hasn't done it yet. Does he want to? I don't know. It's it's kind of that's <laughs> a good question. It's been twenty years, <laughs> right? Huh? Yeah. I think <laughs> you're you, uh, you probably beat him to the punch, man. You do good. Be, that man. would be cool. That would be cool. It'd be cool to get on the road and start opening for people. It also, I'd really like to like create a television show, but I also don't know how to fucking write. Like, I don't know how to write. A- no, no, that's not. But don't you? Okay, well, okay, you just brought Brian. But how do you write up your bit? How do you come up with ideas for your bits? <sighs> Fuck, I don't even. You cool. think you, that's something, writing? Something funny happens. You write it down. You're like, I guess I'll expand on this. Oh, so that's you just get an idea, write it, write it down, and then you just you just experiment with it. Yeah, you, can go you to, say it in different ways. Or? Say it in different ways. You go to those three minute mics and yeah, uh, see if it works. See if it works. Usually it doesn't because yeah. no one gives a fuck, and that's <laughs> that's it. That's um, the process. When do when do people start giving a fuck? When you start, I think have when you start when you're on TV. When you're on TV, when you're yeah. When you start getting kind of famous and then people are like, oh, we're interested now. But don't you think it's easier because of uh, technology now to get more famous or well-known? Totally. Like this thing I film here has like gained me a whole bunch of attention I never thought possible. You yeah. know, just this thing here. Anyone could do this thing. Like what I'm, you know, it just takes dedication and yeah. consistency. So don't you think anyone could like. And personality. Yeah. All That's right, he's to, right. Okay, you know, you know, I have my moments, but uh, <laughs> where this is about uh, personality, uh, Gabby here. <laughs> um, so honestly, we talk about you. No, it's okay. We talked about Tom. I thought me talking about Blink was enough. <laughs> this is your. I'm trying to, uh, you know, we're trying to get more shine, put a shine of light here. Yeah, yeah, light yeah. Um, I'm just trying to figure out as far as um. W- so. The next thing is to feed. You follow like someone like Theo Vaughn or Chris D'Elia. Hey, can I open up for you in Dallas? Yeah. So then you go to Dallas. <laughs> yeah. And then you do the thing, right? Yeah. Uh, so you get what five, ten minutes, or fifteen? What? What's a? I think I. You know. I don't know how that works. Probably t- ten to fifteen, maybe. So you ten fifteen, and then yeah. you get uh, a couple hundred dollars. Uh, mm-hmm. I don't know how. Whatever you get, good a good check from yeah. that. And then do you go? Then you go to s- some other. W- like Eric Griffin, uh, hey, Eric, can I open up for you in Sacramento? Yeah, some sh- some shit like that. And then, and then that, start... and then, so you go up there, and he, 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 you did a good job. Here's your money. Uh-huh. And then, then and you just keep doing you that. Start headlining, you know. But when, how does that happen? Do you just do you have to go to like a comedy club owner and go, hey, you've seen me five times here doing the thing. I'm the person. I'm now. ready to headline. So how does that work? I don't know. I think it's just you get you start gaining enough recognition recognition and then they start putting you on lineups with other really big comics and then all of a sudden you're a headliner and then you start selling out shows when it starts getting to the point where you sell tickets and people come to see you that's when it's like oh that's how it works I guess. Um, what that, about your agency do you have management or i have a, a manager i do have a manager okay uh agency no no agent so don't you think that would be the next step unwrapped too? take me um so unwrapped yeah. so caa if C-A-A. you're watching if you're watching rapper uh gersh agency gersh. if you're uh watching rapper um william morris yeah, william morris william morris i'm your girl if you're watching rapper give me another one ut uta, UTA if you're watching rapper Rap. am, what am i missing craig icm icm, ICM. if you're watching rapper how do, what innovative. innovative god you know them all he used to work. He was, he could have been an agent. Oh, really? Yeah, 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 yeah. A long time ago, he could have, uh, yeah. Come on. Dude, this, this could be a five-hour podcast just on, you know, this guy. Yeah, wow. He's been through it, you know? Yeah. Yeah. He's been okay. through the tree. Uh, so I think man, um, so agency will help because that's their job yeah. to be like, hey, show my girl some love. Yeah. She already did this thing, I'd like this to start thing, acting now, thing. yeah. 
right? Yeah. Um, be nice. So for your special, you don't necessarily have to go through Netflix. You could film it yourself now, right? I think so, yeah. Then once you package it, get your own film crew and editor, blah, 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 music. Then it's packaged. Mm-hmm. Then... You could put it on a platform. How does that work? I don't know. <laughs> no idea. But I know that you could do that and you could film your own thing. And then if you have good rep or even maybe if you don't, you could submit it to any of those big places and have, you know. But then I also don't know, like for like Netflix specials, Netflix like produ- decides like for Dalia. Yeah. Is Netflix like, OK, we want to produce your special. They must. Right. Like that's how that. Yeah. 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 Because he um, obviously he's probably rep by one of those major like yeah ca or someone like that yeah and, uh, his agent's like well this is his fee or blah 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 and then he'll do it for, i don't know yeah but i've also hear stories like going back to joe rogue i listen a lot to joe about um he, he had talks about dave Chappelle, and he's saying that um i know it's dave Chappelle, right he's at the very top but he i mean can you do something where because he used to go just not performing clothes but he would just set up a speaker in a park and just do like a free show and just he would create his own like outlet or platform for a show can you I, i'm just asking can you do, in now in today's world can you navigate that way create your own like uh you know get your own like room and print out flyers yeah. Can you do that? Yeah, I, I, you could do that. Are there comedy shows that exist like that yeah. where it's really d- do it yourself? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I know people that do shit like that that will like want to do like tape their thirty, so they'll like rent out a space and they'll do all the uh-huh. promoting. Yeah. What about normal shows? Like, if you have a good like group of your comedian friends, mm-hmm. can you be like, hey, let's just rent out this warehouse and then make flyers? And yeah, totally. Set up a PA system. Can you do it? Yeah, people do that all the time. Yeah. So have, uh, have I done? Yeah, have you done that? No. Why, why not? <laughs> you know, uh, not. To, That's a lot of work. It's a lot of fucking work. But I should be more driven like that. I'm trying. Yeah. Is it really competitive um, between like other comedians? Yeah, is it competitive in the comedian world? Yeah, I guess in so. In open micers, it is. Yeah, I guess it's competitive. But then like, uh, you're, you also start to see that everybody has like their own space. Like there's not, it's not like there's not enough room, you know, like if you're good and people like you and there's room for you there is yeah i guess there there is competition though i suppose especially with like the uh what the fuck like the comedy festivals yeah well how does that work is, uh, have you been to one yet no okay how do you get on how do you get on <laughs> you're rejected from all how of do you them? get on the comedy festival circuit how do you do that you, you start submitting and you have to pay like 70 bucks submit a tape and then they'll Whoa, be like, wait, wait, okay. you have to pay 70 dollars yeah why fuck <laughs> It's like it's a so you're for telling me you have to if you want to be in the f- comedy festival circuit, mm-hmm. you have to submit a tape, mm-hmm. your reel, yep. of your sets, mm-hmm. and pay them seventy dollars. Seventy dollars. Oh, that's bullshit. I know. So you're not gonna do that. I've done it and I got, I get rejected and I'm like you know I don't have the money to do this anymore. <laughs> How do you get? Because my brother's whole one of his goals was to go up to Montreal just for laughs. Yeah. 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 And because that's like a pinnacle thing. That's right? like the big that's one. That's the yeah. big one, right? Yeah. Well, he it took him years. He just got on last year. What really? Yeah. He was. He nev- just did JFL. He, he never got invited. <laughs> yeah. A lot of gr- but a lot of like. So bullshit. how does that work? That's po- so that's telling me that's politics, man. Yeah, it is politics. That's freaking politics. That's <laughs> some some person's saying, "Oh, I like her, but I don't like her. I like him. I don't know. I don't like that brand of comp." Like, yeah. right? Yeah. Because it took my brother 20 years just to get invited up there. Yeah. Right? It is politics. Definitely. So I was going to ask you, how does one get just for uh, invited up there? But you have, it's all politics. I, I, uh, for the I don't know. Part, yeah. I'm just guessing. I'm just, this is not my thing. This year, you know, this con- you guys are doing the thing. It, yeah. it, it, you know, the submissions, just, the submissions just came out. So I could submit this year to try and go. But please do it. I can't. I have a fi- why? Because uh, I have a DUI and they don't let you into Canada when you have a DUI. <laughs> Jeez, I'd have to get a lawyer. That's expensive. <sighs> yeah, what happened? You want to talk about it? Yeah, what are you talking about? Yeah, no, I didn't happened? get an accident. What, what happened got- with this DUI? <laughs> what happened? Got it in April. 
What were you drinking? What were you drinking? I had so many beers. I was at a comedy show in San Diego. How many beers do you have? Probably five beers. Five, six beers? Probably five beers. I think it was five. Five IPAs. I was going to say Budweiser or IPAs. Bud is IPA, yeah. so that's maybe equivalent to more like 10. Probably like 10. <laughs> yeah, because it's like more alcohol. Yeah, it's more alcohol. So you're at a sh- you're just socially drinking at a mm-hmm. comedy show. I was show. at a show in San Diego, hanging out with all the, co- you know, you get free drinks. Yeah, and, and you're just drinking. Just drinking, having a good time. Then I thought, you know what, let's, let's go back to L.A. So I got on the freeway. And you're driving? I was driving, speeding, and they pulled me over, and they're like, whoa, whoa do you know how fast you were going? And I was like, nope. And then they're like, You're, well, it was 100. Went, and it was 100 miles per hour? Just going 100 miles per hour on the freeway. Yep. And then um, who, who, who was with you? No one. You're by yourself? It's me listening to music. But you said you just said, let's go. <laughs> Didn't oh, that you? was me talking to myself. Oh, that was you <laughs> I said, let's go back. <laughs> this is you talking. This is all in your mind. It's all in my mind saying, let's go. We're going to go. Lord. Yeah. So have you cut, have you cut down on your drinking since then? Yeah. Okay, good, good Yeah, good, I've been good. trying to get sober. <laughs> yeah. I say that as I'm so hungover hey, today. Hey, I'm sober. Are you? Yeah. Are I'm, you? Yeah, I'm in a program. Are you in a program? 10 years, yeah. Really? I've been trying yeah. to work the program, sort hey, of. Hey, if you knew afterwards, if mm-hmm. you want to talk about it, yeah. afterwards, I, you know. I see, I do see the alcohol. Yeah, 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 yeah. I've been trying it's to work good, the program. It's a, yeah. yeah I mean, you know, I'll, just, I'll tell you where it's at. And mm-hmm. There's a good one on Friday. I set up the sound. Oh, I'm, really? I'm the, I'm the sound guy. I set up the whole speaker system. Oh, which one? Where Friday? Um, New Hope on New Hampshire. What time? Uh, 8. A.M.? P.M. Oh, P.M. Okay, nights I can do. Mm-hmm. I, yeah, yeah, yeah. You should definitely, you know, I could save you seat. Save it's, me seat. Uh, yeah. It's a speaker thing. Yeah. Yeah. It's a good time. Yeah. You'll like it. It's because there's a lot of people and you won't, you know what I mean? I do like, I do like, I, you know, I had to go, I had to start going because of court. Um, yeah. And then I was like, wait, maybe, maybe I'm an alcoholic. <laughs> This morning I woke up and I was like, you know what? I think I am an alcoholic, <laughs> so I have to. Right. I mean, if you're just if you're questioning it, yeah. then you m- may have to look into that. A l- I yeah. mean, I'm not here to say yes no, or no because I, I, I don't. I just met you tonight. You know yeah. what I'm saying? But you're telling me that this event happened and then yeah. this. You know, it's so. forcing me to think yeah. about a lot of things. And honestly, yeah. I'm like tired of drinking. It's my life would be better if I wasn't. And. Not that my life is grand by any means, but ask this guy, like, because he knew me when I was drinking. And oh, yeah. Faded. And he'll tell you afterwards, like, I've changed a great deal. Mm-hmm. Like, I used to be the guy at the bar, just the creepy guy at the bar. <laughs> just, like, just the little Asian guy at the bar, just red face by myself, by myself. trying to hit on girls. Oh, I love hey. that. Hey. <laughs> You want to kick it? <laughs> you no, know, just to, to just dress my t- seventh beer. Hey, live down the street. Come kick it. Stop. <laughs> yeah. I'm not, you know, it's, yeah. I never really like act out. I'm not like worried. It's just, I'm like, I'm exhausted by it. There you like, go. You're sick of it. I'm sick of it. I'm sick of DUI. Though. DUI. That's, that's, yeah, that's, you're on the, that's the, right? Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. No, we'll God talk afterwards. No accident, it's, and maybe that's the main reason why you came. I mean, this was f- awesome and we, it was really entertaining, but maybe, I don't know. I'm not, go- I'm not, I don't control the universe, but maybe that, I don't know. Yeah. Yeah. Because you saw, I don't know, that was weird. You're like, oh, I saw that. I, I saw, and, yeah. You know what I'm saying? I don't know. Yeah. Yeah, but yeah. I've we'll been trying. I've been trying. I've been going to meetings yeah. in and out. And- okay, no doubt. Um, Let's, Uh. oh, sh- geez, it's almost 10 already. <laughs> Is it? Have we done 15 minutes? Okay, let's. Um, cool. I want to talk about. Do you? Um, let's talk. Let's start um, plugging your um, social medias, your future upcoming shows. Uh, um, <laughs> anything you have planned? Um, start with your uh, Instagram. I my guess. Instagram. Yeah. My Instagram handle. Follow me there. Is at Gabby Lamy. G a b b y l a m b y. Very active on social media. Yeah. Um, that's where to find me. Mm-hmm. I plug all my shows, plug everything. Mm-hmm. And uh, I have heard my next ones. I'm in San Diego a lot, like in the next two weeks. Mm-hmm. La Jolla Comedy Store. Oh, La Jolla. Favorite. All right, all right. That's what's up. Uh, that's what's up. Yeah. yeah. La Jolla. I don't Love know what day. The 19th? December 19th. Okay. Yeah, yeah. What's up with the YouTube? I website? do. I don't really have. I'm not like. I don't really have like a YouTube channel though. But you can find me on YouTube, Gabby Lamb. I'm on there. Have you thought about starting one up or? 
putting all your content on one platform like YouTube? I should. Yeah, you should. I should. It's smart. You yeah. should do it. I, it's again, I'm like so fucking not organized enough to do it. I, yeah. That's also why I'm like, I need to get sober because I just, my brain is so like all over the just place. Just all over the place? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I just yeah, need yeah. as much like of is my it, Is energy. it like just the thought of it's like overwhelming? Or oh, yeah. yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. I, I feel you. <laughs> yeah. It is, but it is manageable. You could do it, you know what I mean? Yeah. Like, um, but I mean, that's just something to keep in mind, you know, because yeah. that'll always be there. But um, w- website? Don't have a website. Okay. Um, and then you you said your show the next show's in La Jolla, kind oh, of. Yeah, but everything I'm I'm really active on Instagram, Insta yeah your Twitter yeah what is my mm-hmm. Twitter like Gabby I think it's Gabby Gabrielle Lamb I'm not super active on Twitter I am but like not I would say Instagram is where I thrive. Is that one word or two words when they say Gabby Lambie? Like, is that? Yeah, it's one word. It's one word, Gabby Lambie. Yeah, Gabby Lambie. Can you spell that out again for the viewers and listeners? G-A-B-B-Y-L-A-M-B-Y. And how do you spell Gabrielle? G-A-B-R-I-E-L-L-E. L-L-E. Again? Spell it again? G-A-B-R-I-E-L-L-E. Gabrielle. Yeah. One last thing. Did you do you have some like diamonds? Yeah, in I do teeth? have diamonds in my teeth. I noticed. Yeah, yeah. I didn't want to like say anything, but those no, are yeah. cool. Like they're there. How do you how do you get them on your teeth like that? You got. I got into a place to get them done. They glue them in. They glue. They're like shiny. Yeah. They yeah. look like adult braces. Somebody said the other night. What? I got two questions. Are those are those new? The yeah. These are new. I got. Well, they're not new. I got them touched up today because they were fading. I got a big new one today. Oh, I love some beautiful. T- Whoa, who did that? I got it done. It well. That's new. This is today. Yeah. Oh wow. This is when I got this today. That's beautiful. Thank you. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yep. And then these are these got touched up today. Who, who does your Who does your work? This guy. His name is Mike Burns. He's at Thunderbird in uh, Echo Park. Awesome. Yeah. Yeah. That's beautiful stuff. Are you gonna get more? Uh, what about your other arm? No. Just on the arm. Yeah. This is my mic. You know, this is my oh, mic. Oh. Okay. Arm. Okay. So you're just gonna do that. Hey. Yeah. Does the the knuckles hurt? No. They don't? No, they didn't hurt too bad. I might want to do that. Yeah, I like I like the hand tattoos. <laughs> what are you yeah. laughing at, Greg? You gonna get hand tattoos? I want to. I mean I ha- I have I don't know. okay. I have some but I like knuckle tattoos. I think they're cool. I wanna get some right yeah. I wanna what would you have I wanna get say? one when my dad passed away. I definitely wanna get them. my next one's of my dad. Okay. So I wanna get a my a tattoo of my dad somewhere. Uh huh. Like probably right here. I have my, I have a tattoo of my brother right here. Do you really Bob's here, yeah. So funny. Yeah, and I want to get my dad right right next to him. Okay. And then, but now you're opening up a whole different chamber. You got to do the fingers. knuckles. The knuckles. Last question: Did you have the pop socket before you met him? Did yes. you have the pop socket before? Post Malone. I have oh, a pop, pop socket of Post Malone on my phone. I've had that on there for a very long time. So did you show when you like, yeah. I was yeah. so embarrassed. I was trying to cover it because so my I phone. I don't get it. What What does that have to do with Post Malone? It's a picture. It's a picture of him on my phone. Can, can you bring it over here? Let's take a look at it. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yes, I also have him as a picture. God, what a beautiful man! <laughs> That's a beautiful man. What? You didn't show him? No, I didn't show him. I was yeah. so embarrassed because he already saw my he saw my uh, air freshener, which is also his face, and he saw that and was like, "I like your air freshener." If like, would I you, didn't want to overkill you. Would know? you ever date Post Malone? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Yes, I would. <laughs> oh, my second question. Then we're gonna <laughs> do the final announcements. Would you ever get a tattoo of Post Malone? No. Okay. Well, you had you had a tattoo of somebody, but you didn't show them either. What are you talking about? The Game of Thrones. Yeah. I'm sure. You want to see my tattoo? No, no, no. But I'm just saying, you you saw Sansa. Oh yeah. So I, I um, this is a Game of Thrones wolf house Stark, okay, right? Okay. Okay. So I was at In and Out Burger. I was at In and Out Burger right there uh-huh. in the neighborhood, <laughs> yeah. and Sansa Stark walks the the actual person from Game of Thrones, uh-huh. and I just got starstruck. It you was like you want say it, anything? No, I just froze. Yeah, and I just and he didn't even show the yeah, I didn't because she walked right by me near the uh, the soda pop the the the, the, coke, the coke machine uh-huh. thing, and I just like moved out of her way and like like I cut, hit my tattoo. Hit yeah, tattoo. yeah, yeah. I was embarrassed. I know. Why is it like that? I don't know, but I. <laughs> I was oh man I freaked out and I'm starting to sweat yeah I was freaking it. out yeah, and I was yeah, like yeah. I can't I so it was the same thing I know how you feel you know I'm a big Game of Thrones you know yeah. big fan you got it 
You know, but they, at the end of the day, they're just people. You know, they're gonna die like they're us. They're just people. We're all gonna yeah, die. They're, they're gonna die. They're gonna die. We're, I'm gonna die. Yeah, You're gonna yeah, die. I'm gonna He's die. Gonna die. We're gonna, gonna die. We're gonna die. And that's it. That's okay. So <laughs> that's fine. They do what they do. I, you know, we. That's it. We all, you know, we're all trying to throw our little jelly bean in the creative jelly jar, jelly bean jar. Yeah. Too, yeah. 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 Okay. <laughs> but I do love Post Malone. I like Post. I love Post Malone, dude. He's very freaking talented. He's very man. talented. I don't know how he comes up with these crazy hooks and melodies. I know we talk, we sang those songs oh, earlier. Man. I know. I know. He's just yeah, man. It just all it's just like how does he do it? So young I like too. to pick his brain. Would Post Malone get him on the podcast? Hey, 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 Gabby, say it again. Post Malone, get him on the podcast. Post Malone, I direct messaged you the other day. Actually, did you actually? Yeah, because I saw you triggered my memory. I go <laughs> once I saw the picture. I'm like, oh my god. She bumped into him. So he must be around L.A. He's around L.A. So that's when I hit him up. I go, hey, just wondering. You're always welcome on the Steve Weeby show. That is so fucking funny. But how many, right how many DMs does he get a day? You know, it's embarrassing is how many times I've DM'd him. Wait, tell me. And sometimes I'm like, if he ever actually reads these, he would never talk to me. How, what did you say? I don't say anything. It's I. Just, let's break it out. Let's hear it. I what I do is please, please, <laughs> please break. Where's your phone? Let's, let's come on. Let's I work can't. through this. I, let's work. I post it. pictures of him and then I tag him in it and I say, "Hey, post. I'm looking for you." Dude, don't do that. <laughs> don't. Why did you do that? I'm looking for him. That's that's. <laughs> I found you, him. Oh, but you did find him. I did find him. It's really embarrassing. Right. I'm like, if he ever saw us, he'd be like, "This is." Yeah. yeah, absolutely. Absolutely. Yeah, you're always welcome on the Steve Weeby show. Always. Post Malone. Post Malone. Oh, okay. So what? Well, okay. Let's. Well, you never know. Well, okay. Let's say Post watches this. Yeah. And he. Um. And then I just text you out of the blue. I go, Hey, Gabby. Guess what? What? Post is coming next week. How would you react? I'd say I'm on my way. <laughs> I'd, I'd be on my way. So you would be over here like right when he gets here. Soon as. As soon as. Okay, so let's play it out even further. Yeah. Okay, so Post is sitting where you're sitting right now. Yeah. And you're you're obviously going to be sitting I'm sweating. over there I'm somewhere. sweating thinking about it. Okay, you're sitting right there. Post is right here. Yep. You can see his face tattoos. Yes. You can see his teeth. Yeah. You can basically smell his pheromones. Yeah. Mm. How, would you be, how would you be staring at him? I, I don't know. You'd just be like... I'd, I would tr- probably like try not to look at him. I'd be so weird. I was weird when I met him. I was shaking and I couldn't really yeah, look at him. Yeah, the picture, you're like looking... I had a meltdown. I could tell you're freaking out so much. You're like looking this way. I you're looked like, away from him. I couldn't like, look oh at him. Oh my God, I can't believe this is happening. I couldn't look at him. Why did you do that? I got nervous. Oh. Same way you got, ner- you got nervous. Yeah, you got ner- I got nervous. Nervous. Yeah. Do you- <laughs> All right, I don't want to ask because uh, that's your business about Post Malone. Everyone has their own... It used to be for me, Natalie Portman. I grew out of Natalie that. Natalie Portman. She lives in the area. All right, let's not. Don't don't say that. <laughs> She's in the area. It's true. Yeah. yeah. That's right. Tom, please. Tom, Tom get DeLong. Out of the cast. Okay. We're gonna end the show soon, <laughs> but Tom DeLong, please, I beg of you, I plead to the gods. Tom, you know, Powie High, 93, baby. <laughs> 1993, baby. Powie Titan, man. You know me, brother. <laughs> brother. You know me, brother. You know me, Tom. Please. Post Malone. Please, I beg of you. Post. Please, we'll keep DMing you. We love you. Your music, man. Please, post. <laughs> Holler at my girl here, man. She's a big fan for me. Big fan. Check your DMs. Okay. Dude, you're... You're Hell yeah. awesome, man. Hell that was yeah. really, it just flew by. It flew. Okay, so make sure you follow Gabby Lamb. Say your Instagram one more time. <laughs> sure thing. Gabby Lamby, G A B B Y L A M B Y. Give me okay. a follow. You won't regret it. And or then you will. Go to her shows, support it, pay for the tickets, buy her anything she does. Buy anything it. I do, buy it. Okay. I need the money. I have a DUI. Come on. Okay. Um, so. Shout out. We have a Patreon attached to the show. So if you want to become a patron, go to patreon.com slash Stevie Weeby. Um, the website is uh, www.stevieweebyshow.com. Our new patron for this week is Carmen B. Lily Hernandez. Welcome. Um, uh, the Instagram is uh, 
Instagram slash Q-U-A-N-G-O-U. Q-U-A-N-G-O-U. The, my music's on StevieWeebyBandCamp.com. I'm halfway done with uh, my new EP, um, Ode to My Pops. I'm halfway done. And we're going to, and for this time, we're going to have music videos or at least one video. Right, Craig? Okay. For sure. There's no Little Ray's World since I'm trying to finish up this musical project. Okay. Um, more content on its way. Vlogs, puzzles, clips, Stevie on the Streety, Stevie's P.O. Box. If you like the puzzle videos, you like seeing me get frustrated, send your puzzles or packages to 1425 North Cherokee Avenue, P.O. Box 1391, L.A., California, 90093. Send your puzzles there if you want to see more puzzle videos, right? It makes sense, right? Um, support every, um, the homies podcast, Losco Projects, Necroelectric, Riffin with Griffin, and the new one, Movies with Malice. Our homegirl, uh, Alice McMahon, is starting up her YouTube and definitely support that. Subscribe to it. Help our homegirl out there. Um, did we miss anything? I think that's, I think we did it. No little race. Dude, thanks for coming. Hell yeah. Okay. We're out. Thanks for having. Hell yeah.